What? I can't believe that. This sucks. This sucks. I'm gonna call my friend up right now. Hey, what's up, man? Hey, did you hear this crap? Yeah, they, they canceled the Punisher. Yeah, I did hear that. And Jessica Jones. I don't care about Jessica Jones, although she is hot. Right. Yeah, but still, it's not the point. The Punisher was canceled. <laughs> Reputized video. This video is not nothing to rejoice over. As you can tell by the title, The Punisher has been cancelled. The Punisher has always been one of my favorite Marvel characters. And when they brought it to Netflix and they decided to go with John Bernthal, I was really excited. And when I started watching it, that man delivered. This was like the most violent Punisher ever. And I think. Judging by what I heard from other people, what they said about the comics, that's how the Punisher really should be. And it's understandable. He's a retired soldier. He's got a code. And he lost his entire family over some gang war. And he watches his family die right in front of him. If it's not bad enough that he has all this PTSD or whatever you call it from the war, he, he goes and witnesses something like that. Of course he's going to go off the deep end and take revenge and kill every single person that was involved. To him, that was pretty much the last straw. When I watched the show, I was really intrigued on how well this man was portraying this character. He had it all. The character down pat, his viciousness, his thirst for revenge and savagery and all of that. But at the same time... This man played it off so well that you could also understand him. The pain, his loss. Not many people can understand a man like this. You know that saying, you have to walk a mile in his shoes. That's not how the saying goes, obviously, but you have to walk a mile in another man's shoes to actually know what he's going through. Everybody has a story. Everybody has a past that forms them into the person that they are today. So with Frank Castle, he definitely shows what he's been through by his actions. But he's not a bad guy. You guys got to understand this. A lot of y'all who are a Marvel fan and a fan of the comic books and uh, the movies, y'all understand this. I know y'all know what I'm talking about. The Punisher, he's, he's unique. I, I feel like he's like the most violent character for Marvel out there. When you got guys like Captain America, Thor, Iron Man, and all these other lighter superheroes, he's the Punisher is what you would call an anti-superhero. He is a superhero, yes, but he crosses lines that nobody else would ever imagine to. And with the show, it has such heart in it. It had such balls about it. They say Disney would never agree to do something as violent as this show. We, they pretty much proved them wrong. But basically from what I read and what I understand is Disney is starting their own streaming service. And they're going to have their own, the Marvel characters onto that service. But I'm hearing nothing about them actually continuing any of the shows that Netflix has canceled. Like Luke Cage... Jessica Jones, which is another one that just got canceled along with The Punisher. And Iron Fist. Marvel's Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., that one is still going on strong as far as I know. They just got done with its fifth season a while back. I don't know if they're even considering or renewing that. But I wouldn't be surprised if they would. Since 2013, Netflix and Disney has had a contract to show, like, the Disney, the Disney movies. And not just Marvel, either. Like, you know, you got classic movies like Hercules and some other... Hercules is like the only one I've seen. I don't really go on Netflix that much, but... Which is, you know, kind of bad on my part, but oh well. <laughs> but anyway, Netflix and Disney had this agreement sent back in 2013 
where Netflix can show and do TV shows under Disney's contractual obligation, I guess you could say. I don't know, I'm probably Simon ignorant in here, but I don't care. I'm, I'm trying to explain it as best I can. <laughs> so yeah, that's basically it. I just found this out today. I didn't know if I wanted to do a video about it, but then I started seeing everybody else do videos. I figured, why not? I'm not really surprised. After hearing the unfortunate cancellation of Luke Cage and Iron Fist and started reading up all the stories as to why they were doing that about Disney canceling the contract between Netflix and themselves, I kind of figured Punisher was next to the chopping block. But still, it is a great loss. John Bernthal played that character to, to the max. I love the way he portrayed it. It was the most violent. Forget all the movies. Forget the Duff Lundgren version. Forget the Thomas Jane version. Forget the Ray Stevenson version. This one is the way to go. If I was a movie producer, I would go up to studios. I don't care who they were, who they are. Universal, Lionsgate, I don't care. And I would pitch them a really great story. Have John Bernthal come back and try to find a lenient MPAA because I will make this movie really violent. That's for sure. Because the show, like after what the show has shown out, after what the show has shown, can't talk, you know what I'm saying, I think I would be allowed to make my movie just as violent as the show was. And that was on Netflix. It's not like some kid can get on there and watch it either. So... I really don't see what the problem would be with the MPAA anyway, but, you know, they got their own way anyway. So, I hope you like this video, guys. Like, subscribe, get reputized, share. What do you think of this cancellation bull crap with all these shows and stuff? Are you as disappointed about this as I am? Leave me a comment down below and let me know what you think. Stay tuned for more reviews coming soon. My review for Alita Battle Angel should be out soon. I've been meaning to see that sooner, but I wanted to get Happy Death Day to you out of the way. And I've been so busy doing other stuff, I just never got around to it, but it will come at you soon. Peace to rip out.